The background of this trial is that beans contain anti-nutritional factors, particularly trypsin inhibitors and tannins, which can limit the inclusion of beans into rations. The trypsin inhibitors are particularly found in the cotyledon, while tannins are found in the hull of the bean. Other pulse crops, such as whole soybeans, are heat treated to reduce these anti-nutritional factors for on-farm feeding. And the video is looking at a trial which investigates whether heating beans to 180 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes reduces these trypsin inhibitor levels. In the trial, the beans were heated to 180 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes in an oven, and then samples were tested for protein, amino acid constituents, and trypsin inhibitor activity. Dehold beans were also tested. From the results, the heating actually had a slight increase of protein content, probably due to volatilization of some of the oils within the beans. Removing the hull itself actually increased protein content by 6.6%. The important results, trypsin inhibitor activity resulted in a 38% reduction due to heating, whilst removal of the hull not surprisingly increased TIA because the TIA is found in the, in the center of the bean and not in the hull. There was no real significant effect on amino acid levels due to the treatments. This is particularly important for cysteine and methionine, which are essential for poultry. We also did not assess any effects on digestibility of protein or individual amino acids in this trial. This small scale trial does suggest that trypsin inhibitor activity can be reduced by heat treatment and that heating to this temperature has no effect on amino acids. Dehulling also increases the protein content, but also increases trypsin inhibitor activity. It's possible that combining both heating and dehulling may have potential to allow higher bean inclusion rates in pig and poultry diets. If heat treatment could be incorporated into on-farm handling systems, there is a potential to increase the inclusion of homegrown bean protein and reduce the importation of soybean meal. Further investigation is needed to look at the effects on productivity and health.